the Asian Indian Chamber of Commerce organized a networking event at Akbar Restaurant in New Jersey. Preeti Pandya Patel was the featured guest at the event. The topic of the event was a comprehensive approach to sleep deprivation. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Pleasure to be here at the chamber event today. We have been talking about the health of South Asian population as they are suffering from multiple chronic diseases such as hypertension, diabetes, and high cholesterol. We advise them that sleep apnea is equally important and they should be thinking of it. And if anyone is snoring, having any sleep problem, they should consider getting a sleep study done or at least discuss this with their physician. Thank you. Thank you, ITV Gold, for coming out here and covering this event. Today, um, I did an event uh, regarding sleep deprivation, which is a problem that all South Asians definitely have, but it's a problem that most of America has, especially with COVID. What I discussed is how sleep deprivation affects your life, uh, whether it's uh, health, um, psychological issues, physical issues, obesity, uh, headaches, hypertension, diabetes, um, marriage life, your work productivity. I mean, so many things affect, uh, is affected when you have sleep deprivation. So we'd also discussed three types of sleeping disorders um, that can affect and cause sleep deprivation, which is um, obstructive sleep apnea, narcolepsy, and insomnia. So, and we talked about the treatments. We had a great panel of physicians and healthcare professionals that talked about treatment options. Um, and uh, if you guys have any questions about sleep and sleeping disorders, uh, if you're having problems falling asleep, if you're falling asleep while you're driving, Give us a call at 1-888-SLEEPDOC. That's 1-888-SLEEPDOC. Again, thank you so much. Uh, I'm Manish Gugnani, uh, Dr. Manish Gugnani. I'm a board certified sleep physician. Uh, we are currently at the uh, Asian Indian Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we had a great presentation on uh, sleep disorders uh, and sleep medicine. And we talked about the importance of that, uh, <coughs> of sleep medicine and the, and the treatment of it and how important it is and especially in the Asian community. Uh, because of our diet uh, uh, and the prevalence of obesity in the Asian American population, uh, it was f we basically talked about how important it was to diagnose sleep apnea and treat it. it we do know that sleep medicine is it's a upcoming uh, specialty. It is one, sleep apnea is one of the most um, underdiagnosed, undertreated, and uh, problem in our community. People with sleep apnea uh, have increased incidence of stroke, diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, heart attacks, and it is imperative that we get treated. Uh, and you should talk to your internist about uh, getting treated for sleep apnea or at least getting diagnosed, especially if you snore, you have excessive daytime sleep sleepiness, you feel tired, if you're overweight, uh, those are the symptoms. Uh, it is a great program we had here today, and um, I encourage uh, everyone to be a part of the uh, Asian Indian Chamber of Commerce. Uh, if you're a corporation, you can be a corporate sponsor, uh, help spread the message, and um, live a healthier life. Thank you. Um, my name is Dr. Pulin Patel. I'm an internist in Addison area. Today's topic was the, about the sleep apnea and the sleep disorders which was very good, very well presented, and there was expert panel of the doctors who answered the questions also. The sleep apnea and all the other medical disorders with the diabetes, hypertension, cardiac arrhythmias, everything has uh, like all the role. So those who have a sleep apnea, if they try to fix it, that will help in other medical and behavioral help also. Uh, that's about it for now. So today we're at the event that was put together by the, chamber, the Asian Chamber of Commerce 
and a very good friend of mine, Preeti, Ms. Preeti Patel, Dr. Patel, because she has a PhD. She put this um, event together to talk about sleep deprivation and its effects, and also sleep apnea and treatments. I'm happy to be here, and I learned a lot. I did talk about this being a very prevalent issue that we need to address, and I'm glad that we had this conversation. We need to talk about talk more about sleep deprivation and sleep apnea because there are a lot of health conditions that can be prevented or even treated by simply being diagnosed with sleep uh, with sleep apnea, getting the, the the study done, needing or using a CPAP machine. Also, with psychiatric illnesses, patients who are sleep deprived can have se several psychiatric symptoms, anxiety symptoms, depression, mood instability, hallucinations, and just simply taking care of the sleep disorder or sleep issue usually resolves those symptoms if it's caused by sleep deprivation. Hi, my name is Tisha Sims and I'm a behavior analyst. Um, I work with children with special needs um, from ages 3 to 21. Um, most of the children that I work with, they are diagnosed with autism, and I do see how a lack of sleep, oh sorry, a lack of sleep has um, an effect on their behavior. Um, so this um, conference was very informative. I got to hear a lot of doctors speak, a lot of medical professionals, and it was very informative. And a lot of the information I'm going to take back and use in my own personal life and professional. Um, so it was very informative, and I really enjoyed it. My name is Dr. Sunil H. Parikh, and I represent SKN Foundation, South Asian Diabetes Center at St. Peter's University Hospital and SSAI. Extremely important topic they have discussed today. And I go back to South Asian. We had 96 South, South Asian people today, 96%. And since diabetes is the leading cause uh, in South Asian people, we are at very high risk for blindness and um, kidney problems and they talked about it today and that way it touched the sleep. Sleep is an integral integral part of managing your diabetes and I commend Asian American Chamber of Commerce for touching that portion today and uh, I hope everybody, every Asian Indian goes for at least one sleep study and find out where do they stand about the circadian rhythm and about their sleep because I bet you if they get treated it will help them to manage their diabetes, hypertension and cardiovascular condition. Thanks again uh, uh, TV Sony, ITV Gold and Sudhir Parikh for helping the community understand about sleep. Thank you. Yeah, hi my name is Moses Adedeji. I'm the uh, president of New African Broadcasting Network. Um, it's very important, the information that Priti have shared with us today uh, is something that we should be able to show it to the whole world. Because a lot of people don't understand what is called sleep acne. Especially in my own community, they don't believe in sleep acne. People snoring and all kind of stuff but they don't know who and who to actually talk to. With this information, I will be able to take it to my own community and let them know there's a remedy for sleep acne. Thank you.